Hi. Hi, Marta. Hi, Armando. Hi, Efraín. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine. Excellent. Very nice. How was your day? Um, so good, but I'm a little tired because of all my work. Okay. Yeah, I imagine. Right. Hi, Armando. Hi, teacher. Hi. Were you in class yesterday, Armando? Yes, but I didn't turn on. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. I don't remember your, seeing your name, but welcome again. All right. Very good. Hi, Marta. No, Marta's not there. Jonathan, can you hear me? Hello. Good night. Good evening. How are you, Marta? Fine. And you? I'm okay. Happy to be with you guys again. Okay. Thank Very you. Nice. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. Hi, how was your day you today, Jonathan? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, good, an average day. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's light. All right, very good. Okay, Idalia, how was how are you? How was your day today? Hi, good evening. Um, it was good. It was good, yeah. yeah. Now, are you all- Yes, thank you. Excellent. Are you all guys going to work or you're working from home? Um, no, I I have to I have to go. You have to go to work. Yeah. All right. And what about the rest of you guys, Jonathan, so Marta, Armando? You guys go to work at home from like you work from home. So do I? Yeah. No, no. I'm my own. No, I don't work. No. I am a study. You're studying. All right. Okay. Okay. Me too. I am a studying. Excellent. Bye. Okay. All right. Okay. What about Jonathan? Well. Um, I'm my own boss, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's what I you said yesterday, home. yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, that's good. It keeps you safe. All right, and Efrain, you were saying? Uh, I am going to outside. Okay. Sorry, I go to outside. Yeah, okay, you work from outside, very good. Okay, hi, David, hi, Fatima, how are you guys? David, hi. hi. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, David, can you hear how me? are you? Yes, I can hear you. Very How was well. your day today? Yeah. Oh, Here. oh. Okay. Well, I was. It was. Uh, well, I felt like um, feel down because oh. I don't feel well. <laughs> but I'm here to freshen up. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay. Well, well, just make sure that you feel better. All right. Of Very course, good. Sure. Okay. Hi, Julio. Fatima, can you hear me, Fatima? All right, okay. Julio, how was how was your day, Julio? Hi, good. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I'm tired now because Are you? For, for the first time or all this uh, COVID time, yeah. I never did a workout, but... Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm okay now. All <laughs> right, <fine>. okay. <laughs> well, that's I'm good. I'm trying to stay quiet here, okay? Okay, very good, okay. And Daisy, how are you today, Daisy? How was your day Hello, today? Good Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Yeah, Hi. your day was okay? Yeah, I am okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's good. All right, do you like music, Daisy? Are you a musician or something? I see music uh, notes behind you. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> yes, I like it. I play saxophone. Ah, I, I imagine. All right. That's nice. Very good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Roxana and Eugenia. Welcome to class. How are you, Roxana? Where did Roxana go? Oh, my goodness. I lost her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Nice to see you. All right, Fatima, can you hear us? Can you, like, can you hear us okay, Fatima? Yeah? Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, guys. Uh, and Eugenia, also, you can hear us? Yes. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, so hopefully it won't rain today, and that's much better. Amilcar, welcome also to class. Okay, so guys, Thank I you. sent... Uh, like not long ago, I sent one file to the WhatsApp group. Did you get it? 
Yes. An audio? An audio. It's a song, actually. A song. A song. Yeah. You don't listen to it, Jonathan. Don't, yes. don't cheat. Yes. <laughs> All right. Later on, I did not, I, I said I was going to send two, which I will. I'll, I'll send the other one right away, but I didn't want to send both because I thought you were going to cheat. All right. So I, I don't want you to cheat or anything. So later on, like in about 15 minutes, I'm going to send the other uh, worksheet or the other file we'll be working with. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so yesterday we were talking about gerunds, verbs followed by gerunds, okay? That's what we talked about yesterday. And I'm going to share this presentation with you. It has the same information, but it goes a little deeper on the explanation, okay? Can you see, guys? Can you see the PPT? Yes. Yeah? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Yes. So yeah. Gerund, yeah. excellent. Gerund, excellent. Okay, because we're talking... Even on the platform, we're talking about these two things, about gerunds or infinitives, okay? Remember that the gerund is the verb plus ing, or the infinitive, which we talk about the, the particle to plus the verb, to go, to eat, to play, all right? So we have those two, and we're gonna learn, and we're learning the difference between one and the other one, okay? So, what is a gerund? Who wants to read what is a gerund, guys? I need okay. someone to read for me. A volunteer to read? Me? Excellent. Yes, go ahead. What is a gerund? Uh, simply what? put. Mm -hmm. Simply put, a uh, A gerund is the ing form of a verb acting as a noun in a sentence. A verb is a noun. Okay, continue. When a verb is in its gerund form, it refers to the activity rather than the action. Okay, and the last one? The process of doing something rather than the actual doing. Gerund mm -hmm. can... Function? Can function as subjects or objects in a sentence. Okay. So this is summarizing, guys, what is the biggest difference when we talk about a gerund, all right? Remember that yesterday I told you that let's not confuse the gerund with the uh, present continuous verb tense, okay? It's, it's, the usage is different, although we use the ing form of the verb at the end. But here it's saying that it's simple. Put a gerund, uh, guys, remember to, um, like, Mute your microphones while I'm giving the explanation, please. Thank you. All right. So a gerund is the ing form of a verb acting as a noun. In sentence. Um, guys, there is like noise of someone flipping pages and it's very loud. Thank you. All right. So uh, the ing form of a verb acting as a noun in a sentence. A verb is a noun in this case. That's how it's acting. When a verb is in its gerund form, it refers to the activity rather than the action. Remember that I think it was Eric, if I'm not mistaken, that he said, he said the action, and I said it was more the activity or the, the name of the activity. We're not really using the gerund as an action verb, okay? So that's one of the biggest difference. The other one is that it, said, that it says the process of doing something, the gerund refers to the process of doing something rather than the actual doing. All right, so no, it's not really the activity, all right, that you do, is the, the thing of what you're mentioning, all right? Gerunds can function as, uh, as subjects or objects in a sentence. Remember, the subject begins your sentence, all right, and the object receives the action, okay? Do you understand that, guys? Yes, hola, you understand? Yeah, you may yes, say yes. You your, your heads, thank you, all right, I'll keep on going here. Take a look at the following, all right? Idalia, do you mind reading swimming? Idalia, your microphone. This yes. one? Yes, please. Okay. Ted, take a look at the following. Uh, swimming, swimming is a good form of exercise for the earth. Elderly. How do you Elderly. say that word? Elderly. 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 Yeah, that's like all people. Okay. Okay. The yeon is the subject of the sentence and refers to the activity of swimming, not as a specific person 
action of, of swimming. All right, very good. Thank you. She enjoys right there, Italy, swimming just hold, okay, in the go ahead, ocean. Go ahead. Continue. Oh. Continue. That's okay. 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 The yellow is the object of the bird and refers to the general activity rather than a specific moment of okay. movement. Okay, very good. Okay, so here we have two examples. In the first sentence, the, the um, gerund is acting as a subject, and in the second sentence, the gerund is acting as an object, okay? Usually, the subject begins the sentence, okay? So swimming is a good form of exercise for the elderly, all right? The gerund is the subject. You, if you see, it says swimming. That's the gerund, okay? A, of the sentence and refers to the activity, all right? Swimming. As on the other sentence, it says she enjoys swimming in the ocean. The gerund swimming is the object of the verb and it refers to the general activity. So in this case, the action of enjoying affects swimming, okay? So that's like, that's why it's an object because it receives the action of enjoying it, okay? So sometimes your gerund is going to be at the beginning and is going to be acting as a subject and sometimes it's going to be the object because it receives the action of the verb, okay? Do you guys understand or do you have questions? Guys, no questions? Are we okay? Hola, are we okay? Yeah, we understand? Okay, very good, I'll go on. If you have any questions, please stop me and we'll talk about it, okay? That's the idea here. Okay, when to use a gerund or an infinitive? Um, Daisy, do you mind? Uh, Daisy, did you read already? No, right? No. Yeah, oh, okay, do you mind reading, Daisy, for me? Okay, when they use a gerund or an infinitive, gerunds refer to a specific, concrete and- Concrete, oh, concrete. Concrete? Yes. Okay. Well, same. Concrete and or, or real action. Infinitive, on the other hand, expresses actions that are unreal, after, or tools, or those, them, or those that might happen in the future. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Here, it's a tip, guys. It's not, this is, I mean, this can help you know when to use a gerund and when to use an infinitive. But the real truth is the only way or the best way to know when to use either or is to memorize them, okay? But this can help you. And it says, gerunds refer to specific, concrete, and or real actions, okay? Whereas infinitive, on the other hand, expresses actions that are unreal, abstract, or those that might, might happen in the future. So you have to keep that in mind, okay? But the best or the safest way to go is to learn when to use a gerund and when to use a gerund. Internet is full of explanations and you can find all the information you want. Most of the time you're going to like find it over and over, well, over, and over again where it says, and students need to memorize the list of uh, verbs followed by gerund and the list of verbs followed by infinitive, okay? As like I, I gave you yesterday. Now, there are three tips here that I want you guys to read and after that, we're gonna do some exercise and then I'm gonna send you the other worksheet and I'm gonna send you to your groups and you can have fun with one of the activities I have for you. Edwin, do you mind reading the first tip, please? Okay, uh, while both infinitive and gerund can be used as the subject of a sentence, gerunds tend to sound more natural. The copy is the greatest form of flattery, sounds mm -hmm. slightly informal. Copying is a greatest form of flattery, sounds more nat All natural. All right, thank you, Edwin. Very good. Okay, so here we have. And three tips that are gonna help you. It says, while both infinitives and gerunds can be used as the subject of a sentence, all right, because it's not true that only gerunds can begin a sentence or only gerunds can act as subjects, okay? But what, what this is telling you is both of them can act as subject of a sentence, but gerunds tend to sound more natural. 
more like a native speaker. Like the infinitive is a little bit more learned, okay? So people can tell right away that you're not really that fluent or that you're learning language and it's a little bit more formal, all right? It's not natural, like an everyday kind of English, okay? So one of the examples here says, copying is the greatest form of flattery. It sounds more natural than to say, to copy is the greatest form of flattery. Okay, so people will tell right away if it's more a little bit more formal or if it's a little bit more natural. And we want to sound natural when we speak, right? It's like, for example, when we begin learning English, um, we learn to say, my name is Jessica, all right? And we say the whole sentence. Once we're used to it and we know English a little bit more, if someone says, what's your name? I just say, Jessica. I don't have to say, my name is Jessica, all right? Because we do it more natural, all right? More fluent. So the same thing happens on the usage of gerunds or and infinitives, okay? Do you have any comments or questions on this? the first tip, guys, or you understand? No problem? Yes, very good. Julio, do you mind going on with reading the second tip, please? You mean that object? Yes, please, object, yes. Okay, object. There are certain verbs that take the parent as object, as meet, consider, consider. Consider, consider. Consider, consider, consider deny, dispute, deny, 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 dispute, dislike, enjoy. Keep, quiet, quit, quit, miss, quit, miss, miss mind, practice, and understand. Okay. And other that take infinitives. Agree, ask, demand, deserve, forget, happen, learn, manage, need, prepare, want, and wish. Other verbs can be followed by by either. By either. Begin, mm -hmm. By either. Begin, can stand, hate, intend, like, love, plan, prepare, and remember. All right, so thank you, Julio, all right? So here as object, it says there are certain verbs that take gerunds as objects. For example, these verbs that um, Julio just read, the first ones, they only take the gerund form, okay? So we have admit, consider, deny, discuss, dislike, enjoy, keep, quit, miss, mind, practice, and understand. They are always going to be followed by a gerund, okay? And the other ones, all right, they're going to be followed by infinitives, okay? So here, guys, we need to memorize them. And the last step, but not least, Angel, do you mind reading, please? And welcome to class. Hi, and um, only gerund. Yes, uh-huh. Only gerunds can function as the object of a preposition. They were talking about going to New York. Not they were talking about to go to New York. She won an award for cleaning up the city. Not she won an award for to clean up the city. All right, thank you. So this one is a little bit easier because here it says only gerunds can function as the object of a preposition. So in other words, when you have a preposition, you need to use a gerund, all right? And you see the examples. They were talking about going to uh, New York City, all right? On the, or the other one, they were taught, uh, sorry, they, she won an award for cleaning up the city. So cleaning is a gerund, going is a gerund, all right? Because they are after a preposition, okay? So those are the three tips I can give you. But the most important one is for you to understand that you guys need to memorize them, okay? Questions or comments for this, guys? Or are we okay with it so far? Are we okay? Yes? For the ones that have their cameras on, if, yeah, you understand, yeah? Hello, guys, yes? Oh, guys are very quiet today. Okay, okay. I no, guess, yeah. when, when, when we smile, I think we, you know, that's an everything. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> all right, very good, okay. Yeah, uh, I can tell when the people have their cameras on, but if someone doesn't, I, I don't know if they are there or if they're understanding or not. Hopefully they are. Okay, gerund or infinitive, okay? So here, some verbs are followed by gerund, like doing, 
Some verbs are followed by the infinitive, to do, all right? Here is a table to help you. Guys, I'm gonna be sending um, this probably tomorrow morning to you, to the WhatsApp, all right? I have a problem right now with my phone, all right? So I need to, like, the process is a little longer, but I'm gonna send it to you as soon as I can. So you can always refer to it, okay? Here, gerund and infinitive after verbs that express likes or dislikes, like love, like, like, love, enjoy, dislike, hate, don't mind, can stand. You're always going to use a gerund, like swimming, love, uh, I don't know, love singing, enjoy dancing, dislike cooking, hate running, all right? And then you have a, a, a after verbs that refer to a future event, like want, hope, intend, would like, promise. I promise to go. I want to learn. I hope to understand the class. So if you notice, these verbs that refer to future events, you use infinitive. So these are like key keys or clues that can help you use either or, okay? Here we have, then we have after certain other verbs such as admit, appreciate, and all the above, like the ones below because they are the same ones that we've been talking about, and after other verbs such as afford, agree, arrange, and so on. Guys, these are not the only verbs, okay? I mean, these are not the only um, verbs that may follow a gerund or infinitive. There are many more. Your task as a good student is always to make some research, okay? Don't go saying, ah, solo son dia, verbitos, right? For gerunds are only 10 for infinitive. No, that's not true. There are many more. Okay, after certain expressions like it's not used, it's not good, there's no point in doing, all right, after too and enough, too difficult to learn, it's easy enough to, I don't know, to, to sing, for example, all right, so with these expressions, then you have like gerund or infinitive, okay, so this is going to help you guide yourself a little bit. After prepositions, of course, interested in, instead of, good at, before after, after adjectives, glad, please, disappointed, disappointed to hear. You say, I'm glad to meet you, all right? I'm pleased to meet you, all right? So we use those expressions and sometimes we didn't realize we were using an infinitive, okay? But now we know. All right, and then we have these guys. It says gerunds or infinitives. The verb begin, start, continue can be followed by gerund or infinitive. So we have, in other words, guys, we have three groups. The verbs that are only followed by gerunds, the verbs that are only followed by infinitives, and the verbs that are followed by either or a gerund or an infinitive, okay? Now, within this last category, something happens. We have gerund or uh, we can use a gerund or an infinitive and the meaning doesn't change but also in this category with gerund or infinitive the meaning changes so you need to be careful you can use you can use either or but your idea you, if you want to convey an idea make sure that you're conveying it the way you want them to understand it okay so that's what it says here with little or no changing meaning. For example, the verb is stop, try, remember, can also take both, all right? But the meaning changes, and this is what I was telling you, so you need to be careful, okay? For example, what's the meaning? Stop. I have stopped watching cartoons. What it means is I stopped the activity. I don't watch them anymore, okay? But I say, again, a stop, that I can use it with gerund or infinitive, and I say we stopped to go to the toilets at the, at the petrol station. The meaning is a stop in order to, all right? It gives you a reason why you stopped. So it changes the meaning a little bit. Did you realize that, guys? Did you see that change in meaning? Yes, I'm gonna send this to you anyway so you can study it more. Another one, try. I have tried to understand his English but I was unsuccessful. Meaning, make an effort, okay? I've tried to understand. Try again. Let's try restating, sorry, restarting the computer. The meaning, see if it works, okay? So that's what I'm saying. You need to be careful with what you really wanna convey, okay? What's the meaning you wanna get across? Remember, 
Remember to bring your portfolio to class tomorrow. The meaning, don't forget, okay? Remember again, I remember collecting marbles in our neighborhood. The meaning is a past memory, okay? And we're gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna read like the rest of them because they are there for you to like see them later, all right? But what I want you to understand is that we have different um, situations. A favor, guys, can you take a picture of this either uh, 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 a screenshot or a, or a picture from your cell phone. Can you please go on taking a picture of this? I'm gonna send you right now to you, you to your groups that we didn't do yesterday, but today we will. And from then, from today on, we will always go to your groups. Okay? Did you finish taking this picture? Okay. Yes? Okay. Now take picture number two. This is the other picture. Okay. Now what you have to do. What you have to do is that you have to um, choose the ver well the verb that is on in brackets. You have to decide. Well, for example, if I'm working with Fatima, Fatima and I, for example, we're gonna go back here on on question number one or sentence number one, and I will read it, Fatima. Okay, and then I have to like together we're gonna like solve this situation. Okay, so but I'll read. We discussed, Fatima said, making or to make, and we're thinking, okay? And that's how we're going to do from number one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 10. I read, then you read. I read, then you read. So all of you guys have cha a chance to read, and then, of course, you discuss together. But I want you to work in teams, okay? Uh, usually, we're, usu um, we're going to work in groups of two, like in pairs, so we have a better opportunity to participate, both of us, okay? Now... After this, I'm going to give you like about, I don't know, maybe in a couple of minutes, I'm going to be getting into your groups, checking if you guys are working, okay, if you have any questions, all right, then we're going to come back to the group, to the main session. I'm going to tell you what to do with the audio I sent, and while right now you guys are working, I'm going to send you the other file. So when we finish this, we check it together. I'm gonna send you back to your groups and then you're gonna work with the, with the other file. Do you understand, guys? Yes? Please say yes. <laughs> yep. All right, very good. Okay, so ready. Thank you, Elizabeth, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to your groups. This is the first time I'm, sen I'm sending you, all right? We have 18 participants plus me. So that means that we're gonna, I'm gonna make, well, the computer, I don't make them. The computer makes nine groups of two, okay? Please, when I create the rooms, make sure that you click on the invitation and wait. Okay, don't get desperate that your other partner is not in because otherwise I'll have people coming in and out, okay? So don't get uh, impatient, okay? So there we go. And then, cuando menos lo sientan, yo entraré a su grupo. <laughs> All right, very good. So there you go, guys. I sent the invitation, so please click on accepting it, and then you may go to your uh, little rooms or your breakout rooms. Thank you.
to them via taxi, so I offer to my help to the station. Um, yeah, it sounds good. Let me think. Uh, can you find your taxi? So I offer. To it sounds better like that. Meeting or to meet? I think that is to meet because relating meeting a format, it doesn't sound. I don't know. I think that is meeting, but I know. Sí. Entonces, mm -hmm. la siguiente es booking. Eric, why are you speaking Spanish, Eric? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hi, Laura, how are you? Yeah. Hi, fine. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you for being in class tonight. Very good. So, the next one will be, I promise, sending you our new brochure. Yes. So it's attended. Like, hello. In, in, hello, hi, teacher. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Hi. What number um, are you girls working on right now? Uh, number eight. Okay. We are not sure. Uh huh. To attend or attending. Ah, it's attending. Attending, okay. All right. And I'm attending the meeting. Okay, I did, thank I did not you. help you, okay? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. All right. Okay, Elizabeth, number nine. A lot of people dislike driving. Driving, yeah. Well, hello there. Hi, guys. Hi, Evelyn. Hi. Hi, Jonathan. So we uh, I, actually I have a doubt. Uh -huh. What's um, your doubt uh, about the enough thing? Uh huh. That it, it allegedly you only use you only use the infinitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I used before uh, gerund after enough, and okay. and I've heard it before. That's why I'm I'm telling you. I mean, uh, I uh, enough running for today. Enough killing for today. It's yeah is is that something wrong no it isn't i mean remember jonathan there are many many exceptions in english i think and i think that's one of the reasons why english becomes complicated for us because as we speak there are many exceptions. so i guess it would depend on like the context of when to use it also all right, so it's not only like the grammatical rules that we mm -hmm. have to learn because we need to learn them. All right, but once you speak it, then you will realize, and you have already done it, uh, that you can use that we break the rules. All right, so it depends also uh, on the and everything. It's, yeah. it's like okay. the, the number nine. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just like driving at night. Right. I think mm -hmm. that is the, the right one. Right. But I think you can also use to drive at night yeah remember also jonathan and that's why it's very important for you guys to like memorize the verbs because most of them can be interchangeable all right so you can you can use either or if you want to put it this way jonathan and efrain you have a lot more verbs followed by either or than only gerald than only infinitive all right, so you have to like realize that there are a lot more, uh, there are a lot of more verbs that are that can be used with either or. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so that's like I'll, a lot of uh, things that we need to memorize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was wondering because normally to speak English, I only speak it because I've spoken a lot in, in previous years. So I only, I it's like in Spanish. I I, I feel like it sounds good so right. yeah it's yeah that, and, and that's the best way to go by ear <laughs> yeah but yeah all right sometimes um jonathan if we actually study grammar as such you will realize that even in spanish we don't speak mm. properly 
Yeah. All right. So if Six, we like <laughs> 16 conjugation is not easy. Kidding, I know. So and and you're right. I mean Spanish is much more complicated than English. All right. Yeah, we, uh, we only yeah. use four. I know, only. All right. I mean English is really straightforward, all right? But yeah, so that's what happens, especially on a second language, because remember that even that we could become like like very fluent but English is never going to be our first language, all yeah. right? So there are many, many things that even, as I said, and you, you just mentioned that even in Spanish is complicated, all right? So when we actually take a grammar class, we realize that we don't speak even Spanish properly, all right? Mm. And there are some rules that we break or some rules that we omit or some rules that we as Salvadorians use, but not yeah. as people from Guatemala use, for example, all right? So it's very complicated. I mean, that's the the beauty of a language that is always like in constant movement. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so um, we keep doing the thing or? You're done? No, I mean, this, this, uh, we, we're sharing a page that from six to 10. Okay. Uh, but um, we need the, the other one. No, no, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, we're gonna go back right now to the main session to check hmm. this one. So I'm gonna give you, well, you guys are gonna give me the answers, all right? And then I'm gonna send you back to your groups and you're gonna do the other activity, all right? Okay. So let's all go right. right now. All right, I'm gonna close the room so you're gonna go back to the main session. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Hello. Hi. Hi guys, Hello. welcome back. Were you able to finish or not really? No, just give me the first one, please. Oh my goodness, yes, finish. <laughs> All right, that's okay, that's okay. So right now what we're going to do, guys, um, yes, an please. hour flies, guys, all right? I don't know if you have felt it this way, but suddenly it's like nine, almost 840, okay? And I need to go five to nine. So I'm gonna share with you the answers. Please check if you have them right. Okay, and then I'm going to send you right okay. away again to your groups with the audio and the other worksheet I just sent to you on the WhatsApp group, okay? All right. But we only finished the first part. We didn't finish the second. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to okay. do it together. Don't worry. I know time is short, guys, but if I leave you like, because today I have two activities for you. I'm oh, okay, thank you. One activity and that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, so it you. says, yeah, thank you. It says, it's obvious he's only interested in what, guys? In making, in making money. In making money, right? Why is making? Making. Why making and not to make? Anybody? Because you have a preposition. Excellent, because you have a preposition in. Excellent, very good. Okay, so here, guys, it's not only that you know it, but also that you need to give a reason why, all right? Or sometimes it only okay. sounds good to you, all right? And that's okay also, all right? Number two, Anne couldn't find a taxi, so I offered? To drive her to the station. To drive, very good. Yeah, guys, very nice. I see happy faces, very good. <laughs> all right. Three, I manage booking. Book. Booking. Booking. Yeah. Booking. Booking. Book. 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 On the morning Book. flight is a future event, guys. If you read it, the morning flight is not right now. All right. So it's a little yeah. bit of the future. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> repeat, please. What do you want me to repeat, Laura? The Why is booking in that? To ah, book. okay. It's uh, like to book, not to booking. Yes, it is to book, um, Laura, because morning the, on the morning flight is a little bit like referring to the future. All right, and remember mm. that we said that we use infinitives if they relate to the future somehow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. No, thank you. I promised you our new brochure as soon as it's available. I promise to send. Sending. Sending. To send. Sending or to send? To send. 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 To
this is not available right now. So I'm going to send it when it's done. So that's the future again. Yes? Yeah. Okay, number five. Peter was delighted to meet or meeting a former colleague at the conference. Guys, what do you think? Meeting. 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 All right. Meeting. Meeting. Oh my God. To meet. Oh my God. What huh? happened here? Why, guys? Because you are talking about meet. the past. Yeah. No, but he's going to meet the college. The no, college. he already did. Peter he was delighted. Did. He already did. Delighted. Yeah. He, he was delighted. Meeting hmm. a former colleague, it sounds better to meet. All right, because it already like spend. Yeah. All right. Mm. I avoid what? Taking. Taking. All right. Taking. All right. We finish the job by working. 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 Yes, because you have a Pre excellent guys. You guys are good by working. Excellent. All right. Number eight. Bob sent a report to the chairman instead of uh, to attending. Attend. Off to attend or off attending, guys? Attending. attending. Thank attending. you. Very good. Off attending. Number nine. A lot of people dislike driving. 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 At night. Very good. I intend. To speak. 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 To my boss about your complaint. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. Good job. All right. So I know sometimes it's a little difficult, but once you practice it, no problem. Okay. And as I was, um, Jonathan, I believe, I believe he was telling me, sometimes it's by ear, whatever sounds better. All right. So that's your instinct. Okay. <laughs> but it's a better idea for you to actually memorize the verbs. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. I'm gonna send you back to your uh, groups. You have a song and you have a worksheet. What I want you to do is I want you to share your audio with your classmate. How can you, someone, one of you can do it or you both can like listen to it, all right? And the idea is to fill in the blanks, okay? You have two choices. We're not gonna finish, but that's okay. One, I mean, not choices, you have two tasks. One of them is to fill in the blanks, either using a gerund or an infinitive based on what you listen on the song, all right? And the other task is when you finish doing that, I want you to check the um, words that are highlighted on bold to see if they are correct because maybe they are not correct. Maybe the song says something different and you need to change it. So you have two tasks in one activity. You're probably not gonna finish, it's okay. You can finish it tomorrow, I mean tonight by yourself just to practice because remember we need to practice our listening. Yeah, and to this level, you guys are pros, all right? So you will have no problem with this. Ready? Yes? yes. All right. On the, uh, you can share the audio guys by clicking share your screen. And when you get there, I'm gonna share this with you. Uh, you go to más or to more, depending how you have it. Click on it. Son los tres puntitos. Y en algún lado tiene que decir compartir el sonido de la computadora. You can share the, the sound with your um, partners, okay? If not, cada quien with you, their, your ear, your head to the song, and then you're talking, all right? Yes? Guys, you get it? Get it, guys? Yes? Hello? No? Yeah? So, so? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go then. So first, first the 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 fill in the blank. The survey, first the survey, and then the the song. No, 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 no. You're you're. This is what you have there. Okay. I'm gonna show it to you. This is what you have on the second file mm -hmm. I sent. This is the lyrics of the song, and you need to fill in the blanks. You're listening mm -hmm. to the song. When you finish, you're gonna fill in the blanks by either using an infinitive or a gerund. Depends on what you listen. Okay, the second task is that if you notice, there are some words that are in negrita, on bold, but some of them are not correct. Then you have to listen and correct what she says. Yeah? Mm. Now you get it? Yeah. Okay. You have the rest of the class to do. We have like about 
12 minutes. We're not gonna be able to finish, but that's okay. So at least you begin. Laura, did you receive the invitation? Hi, Joseph. Hi, Veronica. Hi. Hi. I'm going to send you to a group right now, okay? Just click on okay. the invitation. Okay, thank you. All right, Veronica, I'm going to send you right now to your group, okay? Thank you. Joseph, I already sent to you the invitation. Now we, we go, now we go. No, but first. No, no first uh, we are going to resolve the uh, the, um, the file, Ooh. the test, and then we are going to yeah. listen the audio. Okay, I got it, I got it. No, you guys are supposed to yeah. listen to the audio while you are filling in the blanks, David and Idalia. Oh, okay. So you're listening at the same time you're filling in the blanks. That's the idea. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Armando. Hi, Fatima. Hi, teacher. Hi. Are you okay with the activity? You know what to do? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Go with this band so many days. Um, Thinking how you did me wrong. Yeah. Are you guys listening to the song while you are like solving the worksheet? Oh, so we need to, to hear the song too? That's right. That's why I sent the song. You're supposed to listen yeah. to the song while you're filling in the blanks. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. 
before you listen the song, complete the band <laughs> using the verbs in the brackets. Come on. Thank I you, Eric. It. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Okay, I will continue. I was pet petrified. Keep thinking. Thinking. thinking, yes. For me, for me, kept thinking also. Excellent, guys. Very good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Hello, DJ. For me, uh, I could never to leave. Okay, for you? Yeah. I... In this case, I should have changed the, that stupid look. I should have made you to leave. What do you think? Is to leave? Mm, I'm not.
Hi guys. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello, hello. All right. I know you were not able to finish. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to even ask. <laughs> I know the kinda. time is short. You kind of did? Oh, oh wow. Not okay. the second part. The first part we did. Excellent. All right. Very good. Good for you. All right. In case you didn't, guys, uh, it's okay. Maybe you can finish it tonight. Just you guys practice it and have fun with it a little bit. And then tomorrow at the beginning of the class, we can, I can share the answers with you or you share the answers with us know like how it should go all right please don't cheat okay don't google it because of course it's on internet and you can google it but that's that would be way too easy for you all right Eugenia se está riendo eso va a ser verdad Eugenia no mentira no I'm kidding Eugenia that's okay all right so the idea is for you to practice okay if in case you have you can do it and you have time please do so if not I'm gonna give you the answers tomorrow anyway thank you guys remember I need to go I have the other class right away Thank you so much for being in class, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you for everything, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye.